This week, the Travis County Commissioner Court voted to put more than 100 million federal dollars towards solving the homeless crisis in our area. This morning, we have Commissioner Ann Howard with us to talk about what happens next. Good morning, Commissioner. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Definitely. Thanks for coming on. First of all, explain what this pool of money is. Where did this come from? So this came from the federal government. It's the American Recovery Plan Act, ARPA. And this particular pot of money was given directly to Travis County to help our community recover from COVID. And in the language for the federal act, it talks about things you might address. And one was homelessness and another was affordable housing because we know people in crisis are much more likely to not be able to recover to, you know, they can't social distance, they might not have access to um, health care. And in the past, they might not have had those. And so they could be sicker and more, more vulnerable to getting really sick from COVID. And so it was a great opportunity for Travis County because the city of Austin also got a big allotment from this act. Um, and it allows us to do something quite bold that we've only been able to sort of nibble around the edges. And that is to help seed more housing, more affordable, deeply affordable housing. And you mentioned housing. Do we know yet the extent of, of where this money will go will go toward? Or? So we know uh, some of it. Um, the one big initiative, in fact, $50 million um, is planned to be invested um, in what's being called now the Burleson Village. And it's with foundation communities and mobile loaves and fishes to uh, build, have an apartment community as well as the tiny home concept um, that we all know as the community first village. So you're the former executive director of ECHO, that's Ending Community Homelessness Coalition. Um, in your mind, how are things right now with the homeless situation in Austin, Travis County? We've got a city camping ban that voters voted on. We've also now got a statewide camping ban. How, how is everything going? Yeah, well, we're at a critical juncture and uh, I'm very hopeful because as the county makes this commitment, as the city made their commitment, right now we're then actively recruiting private philanthropy to sort of round out um, this community goal to house 3,000 people over the next three years. And we can do that. I think the camping ban that's now in place sort of will set us back to where we were with a lack of visibility on people experiencing homelessness, which is sort of scary because that pushes people um, into, you know, obscurity, into the green belts. And we know now with, you know, as you, as you see sort of climate happenings, whether it's the freeze or fire, we can't afford to have people living in the green belt. Regardless of where you live in Travis County, it is important that we help people get off the streets and into a safe and decent home. Travis County Commissioner Ann Howard, thank you so much. Thank you.